Mimi huyu mzee polisi nimeona hapa wamenisimamisha ati ulituahidi ndani ya siku ya moja mtatuongeza mshahara sasa ati imebaki sabini na moja hapana nyinyi polisi yenda pole pole amuweze kwanza kuhesabu kutoka tarehe tisa mtahesabu tukiapishwa si ndio eh kwa sababu nyinyi polisi mtu amechelewesha nyinyi ni hii ya makisi kama hangekuwa na makesi tungekuwa tumeapishwa tungeanza nini lakini sasa amelete makisi sasa anasema watu waandamane we mzee akitendawili na maimaida mkuwe pale mbele muongoze maandamano hapo mbele na yule msichana yenu akuwe hapo nyuma na watoto na wajukuu muanze mkishaanza wengine wafanye nini hakuna mtu Kenya tena atakubali watoto ya wenyewe watumiwe vibaya na ndio hii uchaguzi hii imeonesha ya kwamba mtoto ya mama yeyote anaweza kuwa rais wa jamhuri ya Kenya si imeonekana this election what it has done is to encourage every Kenyan that working hard and praying to God you can achieve your dream in your lifetime na that is why tunasemba hao watu ma dynasty wasipangie watoto wetu maandamano kama wanataka kwenda maandamano achukue bibi yake na watoto yake na wajukuu wakitaka kuita huru kenyata aunge aunge hao mkono wamuite awasaidie si iko namna hiyo si iko namna hiyo eh tukataka kusema na pia tutamuuliza rais vile tumeona ukisherekea ushindi wa governor ya Mombasa kuja hapa usherekee ushindi wa Susan Kiheka kama governor wanakuru kwa sababu hapa ni nyumbani si hapa ni nyumbani akuje ajue asoe governor wake mape na asoe rais wake nini na pia asoe naibu wake mape alafu ndio tuendelee 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 <laughs> netoi widania ndo ito netoi widania netoi widania pio pio koreo doge toke to mugitire na taito cianyu na besha muhuko kore doge moko na kweja beno eh na ke fara eh ateke oh motu aiyo anajua you are excellent wanasema upunguze bei ya unga again hiyo ni hii mzee ya makesi amezuia hii mzee ya makesi ametuzumbua kama si case hiyo ingekuwa imeshughulikiwa ya mwisho tumekubaliana na kadhambi ile pesa ya sadaka hawezi ienda kwa mkate hiyo ni ya sadaka hiyo iende kwa mwalimu asomesha watoto kwa hiyo shule ambayo wako na shida ndio ya mkate mimi na rais tutapanga sio ndio tena sikuendelea muko tayari tumkaribisha kiongozi wetu jaba neno eno eno eta waruto eno eda giagoku neo muradhurire eno basi asanteni sana viongozi wetu wa dini maaskofu wachungaji pastors viongozi wote wenzangu walio hapa ndugu wananchi wa hapa Kihingo Njoro pamoja na Nakuru Hamjambo Hamjambo tena Bwana Yesu asifiwe Hebu nione kwa mikono Bwana Yesu asifiwe Asanteni sana Kwanza mimi nataka nichukue nafasi hii kwa njia ya kipekee nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi siku ya leo tufike hapa Nakuru kwa ibada hii ya shukurani niwashukuru viongozi wote wa kaunti yetu Nakuru wakiongozwa na governor wetu Mama Susan Kehekamburu kwa kupanga pamoja na viongozi wa kanisa hapa ili tuwe na ibada hii ya shukurani kwa kweli mahali tuna, tumetoka tuko na sababu nyingi ya kumshukuru Mungu mahali ametufikisha tunataka tuwashukuru sana kwa sababu tuliomba Mungu katika taifa letu la Kenya tuwe na uchaguzi wa amani 
na Mungu alitupatia uchaguzi wa amani. Na ndio tumekuja kumshukuru Mungu kwa uchaguzi ambao uliendelea kwa njia na taratibu nzuri na pia kwa njia ya amani. Tulimuomba Mungu pia atusaidie ili tuweze kupata kukubalika pamoja na nyinyi kama viongozi kama wananchi wa hapa Nakuru na sehemu nyingi za Kenya. Na Mungu amefanya hivyo leo tuko na governor hapa Nakuru tuko na senator mama county wa bunge na MCS wengi ambao wamechaguliwa pamoja na sisi tumekuja hapa nakuru kumshukuru Mungu na vile vile kuwashukuru ninyi wananchi wa Nakuru County asanteni sana hii ni jumapili yetu ya tatu tangu tuwe na uchaguzi na ni ibada yetu ya kwanza katika bonde la ufa sisi wote kama wakaaji hasa wa bonde hii la ufa tunashukuru Mungu sana kwa sababu watu wengi katika taifa letu la Kenya walikuwa wana taka kujua ni nini itafanyika katika bonde hii la ufa kwa sababu manabii wa uongo walikuwa wengi lakini kwa sababu tunamwabudu Mungu aliye hai Bonde la Ufa iko na amani na Kenya iko na amani. And that is why we have a reason to thank God. Tuko na sababu ya kumshukuru Mungu. Kuna manabii wengi walisema ya kwamba mambo hayatakuwa sawa. Walihubiri mambo mengi ya ukabila na chuki lakini Mungu ametufanya tukafanya kazi ya uchaguzi kwa amani na Mungu ametupatia ushindi. Watu wanakuru, mimi nasimama hapa mbele yenu kwa niaba yetu sisi wote tuliochaguliwa. Kuwashukuru sana watu wanakuru kwa imani yenu kwa kura zenu na kwa kutupatia nafasi ili tuweze kuongoza katika nyadhi mbalimbali mbali, katika taifa letu la Kenya. Na washukuru zaidi watu wa sehemu hii. Hasa Njoro hapa Molo. Kulikuwa na uchochesi mwingi wa mambo ya ukabila na mambo ya chuki na wale waliojaribu kutupiganisha lakini nyinyi watu wanakuru mumedhihirisha mambo ya matayo tano tisa inayosema heri wapatanishi kwa sababu wataitwa wana wa Mungu mumeweka amani nakuru mumeunganika watu kutoka jamii mbalimbali mbali, watu wa kutoka sehemu mbalimbali mbali, na mkaishi pamoja na kupa, mkapiga kura pamoja na mkapiga kura kwa amani bila ya kujali mirengo ya kisiasa mimi nasimama mbele yenu kwa niaba ya hawa viongozi wengine kuwaambia watu wanakuru asanteni sana shukrani nyingi na tunawapenda sana I want to say without fear of any contradiction that Nakuru you have made Kenya proud. You have voted peacefully across party lines and you have refused to be drawn into hate and tribalism. You have stood firm and lived together and we have come here to celebrate you and to thank you and to tell you we will not let you down we will work for you as those of us who have been elected hapa kihingo 
ndio mahali inasemekana hapo kwa mlango tumekuja kuingia leo hii kutumia hii mlango ya kihingo hapa nakuru na mimi vile niliwahakikishia kwa niaba ya ndugu zetu hawa ya kwamba nia yetu na mpango yetu ni kupeleka taifa letu mbele na tutafanya hivyo tukishirikiana tukifanya kazi pamoja na tukiweka amani na nawashukuru sana mumetimiza sehemu yenu mumeweka amani mumepiga kura kwa ujasiri na hekima kubwa na mimi nataka niwahakikishie sehemu iliyobaki ni yetu sisi tuliopatiwa nafasi ya uongozi na hiyo kazi tutawafanyia mambo mengi yametajwa na mjumbe wenu mama charity kadhambi mambo ya barabara nimeyasikia kwa sababu mambo mengi ya barabara tulianza pamoja na nyinyi sehemu hii mimi nataka niwahakikishie watu wa nakuru kwanza zile barabara zote ambazo tayari ziko katika mipango yetu ambaye ilikwama tayari tumeanza kuzungumza na wale wote ambao wanahusika ili tuanze hapo kwa mambo ya stalled projects tayari tunazikadiria na kufikia mahali ilipofika sasa katika taifa letu la Kenya tuko na stalled projects ambayo ni karibu ya bilioni tano. na tumesema ya kwamba hapo ndipo tutakapoanza kuhakikisha ya kwamba tunatengeneza mpango ambayo itatupatia bilioni tano kukamilisha hizo miradi zote zikiweko barabara zenu za hapa Njoro na barabara za Nakuru kwa hivyo madam gadhambi and all the other leaders who are here and all other uh, constituencies in Kenya our first assignment as an administration is to relieve the stress of many contractors who are holding pending bills on many projects that have stalled we have close to 500 billion shillings of projects that are stalled and we have agreed that we are going to start there so that we can complete all the projects that are already in the pipeline because government is continuous and we must do that as the beginning of where we want to go tuko na mpango ambayo tulikubaliana na wananchi wa Kenya na ndio wakatuchagua na tuko tayari baada ya kesho tukienda mbele tuhakikisha kwamba hiyo mpango tunaweka nataka niwaulize wakulima wote vile governor wetu Susan amesema tutashirikiana na county government kuanzia miezi moja mbili ijayo kuanza kupunguza gharama ya mbegu na mbolea <laughs> tayari tunazungumza na wale wanambao wanahusika hata tukingojea kwa sababu kupunguza gharama ya maisha ni ya muhimu sana kwa kila mkenya na njia ya kupunguza gharama ya maisha ni kumsaidia mkulima azalishe chakula zaidi and that is our approach we are going to work with counties so that we can reduce the cost of seeds the cost of fertilizer the cost of pesticides so that we can enable our farmers to produce more so that we can begin the journey to reduce the cost of living in Kenya mimi nataka niwaulize wakulima wote katika taifa letu la Kenya waanze kujipanga kwa sababu wao ndio watatusaidia na tutahakikisha ya kwamba mbegu na mbolea inapatikana kwa bei nafuu ili wakulima wetu wenye bidii wote katika taifa letu la Kenya watuzalishie chakula na wapate ma, ma, mazao zaidi na tuhakikishe pia na wao wanapata bei ya sawa sawa na tuhakikisha kwamba tunazalisha chakula tupunguze gharama ya maisha ndio kila mkenya aweze kupiga ya kwenda, uh, tua ya kwenda mbele tukiwa pamoja nikiwa hapa nakuru nataka niwahakikishie kwamba tuko na itare dam 
ambaye ilikwama kwa sababu ya siasa mbaya. Mimi nataka niwahakikishie ndani ya siku mia moja tutakuwa tumelete kontrakta wa kuendelea na kujenga Itare Dam. Itare Dam tulikubaliana na nyinyi ndio itapeleka maji Njoro, ndio itapeleka maji Molo, ndio itapeleka maji Rongai na ndio itapeleka maji Nakuru Town. And that project tayari imefika 30% kontrakta akaletewa kisirani na watu wengine hapo lakini hawa watu wanajijua tayari waanze kujipanga kwa sababu wanajua yale walifanya we want to straighten those things kwa sababu hatutaki siasa duni iharibu mipango na miradi ya serikali vile vile tunajua ya kwamba hiyo dam ya Itare haiwezi kutoa maji kwa nakuru yote bado tutaketi chini na county government ndio tuone sehemu ingine mbili tatu ambayo tunaweza kuweka damu ili tuweze kuongeza maji kwa sababu vile mambo ya livyo tunaelekea sasa katika mambo ya irrigation and therefore water is going to be a very important tool in the delivery of our agricultural production and also in matters to do with um, dairy in matters to do with livestock ndio tuweze kuendelea mbele tukiwa pamoja vile vile nataka niwaambie watu wa nakuru vile nilisema wakati tulikuwa katika ile economic forum ambayo tulikuwa nayo hapa nakuru tuko na mradi ambayo pia ilikwama ya milk coolers nataka nimwambie governor wetu hapa aanze kujipanga kwa sababu tutawapatia milk coolers 25 mpya ambayo itakuja na kuru county hii. Na hiyo kazi itafanyika katika miezi miwili mitatu uh, ambayo inakuja. Hiyo program ilikuweko lakini kwa sababu ya uzembe ya watu wengine kule ndani hiyo program ilikwama. Hiyo kazi najua mahali nitaenda kuikwamua. Kuna barua moja tu na kuandika na hiyo mambo itaisha. Tunaelewana? na kwa sababu tuko na milk coolers karibu mia sita ambazo zilikwama kwa sababu ya siasa kidogo kidogo so we are going to straighten those things so that we can move the country forward quickly nataka vile vile niwaambie watu wa nakuru yale tulikuwa tunasema wakati wa uchaguzi haikuwa ni mambo ya porojo ilikuwa ni mambo ya mpango yetu hapa naivasha tulikubaliana ya kwamba tutajenga industrial city Nataka niseme in my first trip to Nakuru County that we want to make the industrial city in Naivasha a reality. And it will be an industrial city beginning with matters to do with leather and matters to do with textile. And therefore, I am asking the county government to start to prepare themselves. In the next few months, we will be having a robust conversation on how to make that a reality so that we can take advantage of the steam we have from our geothermal resources and also the electricity that we have that is being produced by our ge geothermal resources. So um, we were supposed to have done that under the Big Four plan, but it was sabotaged by our friends on the other side but now we have an opportunity and we have nobody to blame if we don't do it this time round so tutashirikiana pamoja na nyinyi eh, na hiyo kazi tunataka ianze eh haraka haraka ndio tuweze kupeleka mambo yetu taratibu na tuweze kufikia malengo ambayo tulikuwa nayo kama watu wa taifa letu la Kenya mwisho um, tuko na mambo yale mengine mengi ambayo tutashughulika nayo tumekubaliana kama Kenya kwanza ya kwamba mambo yetu ni mawili kuunganisha wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya kutoka sehemu zote na kupanga mambo ya maendeleo those are our two major assignments mumesikia tumesema kwa sababu tunataka kupanua uongozi wetu katika taifa la Kenya 
tumesema ya kwamba Moses Wetangula ambaye ni kiongozi wetu kutoka Western Kenya tutamuombea kiti awe speaker wetu wa bunge la kitaifa. Na vile vile tutatafuta kiongozi mmoja tunaongea na viongozi wa pwani ili pia watu wa pwani watupatie kiongozi mmoja ambaye atakuwa speaker wa senate katika ile hali ya kuleta taifa pamoja na kupeleka Kenya mbele tunataka kila mtu ajue ya kwamba Kenya ni inchi ambayo ni ya wakenya wote na serikali ambayo tunatengeneza itakuwa ni serikali ambayo itawafanyia kazi wananchi wote wa taifa la Kenya bila ubaguzi na bila kubagua nani alipiga kura upande gani we want to move the country together mwisho kabisa nataka niwaulize wa Kenya wote kwamba taifa la Kenya ni taifa ambayo inasimamia sheria na katiba na hakuna mtu mmoja hakuna mtu yeyote mwenye atafanya kinyume na sheria na katiba ya Kenya we want a country based on the rule of law and every citizen irrespective of your size religion community we are equal before the law and that is why each and every one of us must respect the law hakuna njia ingine ya kupeleka Kenya mbele hakuna njia ingine ya kuleta heshima na maendeleo katika taifa letu la Kenya ni kila mtu afuate sheria na hiyo kufuata sheria itaanza na mimi na wale wote ndio kila mtu ajue ya kwamba kuna sheria katika taifa letu la Kenya na hiyo sheria ndio inaleta usawa na kufuata hiyo sheria ni vile tulipiga kura na tukaheshimu IBC kama commission ambayo imetengenezwa na sheria ya Kenya kusimamia uchaguzi tukaheshimu IBC ikatoa uamuzi wake kwa sababu sisi ni nchi ya sheria vile vile kesho mahakama ya upeo itatoa uamuzi wake kwa sababu sisi ni nchi ya kufuata sheria pia tutaheshimu uamuzi wa mahakama ya upeo hivyo ndivyo tutakavyo kuwa na nchi ambayo itakuwa ni nchi ya wakenya wote na hakuna mkenya mkubwa na mdogo wakenya wote ni kiwango kimoja chini ya sheria na katiba yetu ya Kenya and it is very important even as we begin the journey as a nation that we agree that Kenya is going to be a country based on the rule of law that because we respect the law we respect institutions that are set up by the law that we will respect IEBC and its decisions because we are law abiding and we respect the law because we are a country based on the rule of law and tomorrow equally we will respect the decision of the judiciary because we are a country based on the rule of law and respect for all the institutions that is the only way we will remain democratic that's the only way we will remain a constitutional country and that is the only way the citizens of the republic of kenya will be equal kwa hivyo nataka niwashukuru sana na nataka niseme going into the future we are all going to make sure that Kenya inakuwa nchi ambayo inaheshimu sheria na sote bora unaheshimu sheria utaenda mbali katika taifa letu la Kenya nimesikia mambo ya Egerton University sio Egerton University peke yake university zetu zote katika taifa la Kenya wanapata only 52% of the money they require to run their institutions we have a national crisis in our universities and we have set out as a government that we are going to address the issue and the crisis that today exists in our institutions of higher learning especially 
our universities. Therefore, to the Egerton fraternity, Mama Gadambi na viongozi wa hapa, tunajua ya kwamba kuna tatizo pale, na ukisoma manifesto yetu ya Kenya Kwanza, utakuta ya kwamba we have identified that as a problem, and we have a solution for it. So, na washukuru sana watu wa nakuru, viongozi wetu wa dini, asanteni sana, kwa kutukaribisha hapa nakuru, na kwa kutuombea. Eh, asanteni sana, kwa kutoa sadaka ambayo kawaida ni ya kanisa, sasa tumesema tutatumia kulipia fees ya watoto wetu hawa, ambao awana eh, eh, ambao wako mapato ya mazazi wao iko chini. So mwalimu, tumakubaliana na mama kathambi ya kwamba mkate na hiyo ingine, sisi tutanunua. Ile pesa yote ambayo imepatikana hapo, na nita kuongezea another 500,000, yende ilipe school fees. Yende ilipe school fees ya, ya watoto hawa. Sindio? Sawa mwalimu? Asanteni sana kwa kutupatia uwanja wenu, tuweze kutumia kwa maombi haya. Eh, bile bile, eh, viongozi wa kanisa la AIPCA hapa Njoro, walikuwa wameniuliza siku ingine maneno. So nataka ni wambie, huyu nitatuma huyu mjumbe wetu, huyu charity. Sunday, utaenda huko kanisani, nitakutuma na barua ya hiyo kanisa. Kwa sababu walikuwa wameniuliza. Na mjue ya kwamba sisi tuko area. Sindio? <laughs> tuko area. Mambo ile ingine yote, sasa tutakuja kuendelea. Na tutajenga kanisa, mjue hivyo. Sisi ni watu tunamuamini mungu. So tutakuwa tunawatembelea eh, mara kwa mara, hawa viongozi wote. Sisi ni watu ambao tunamtambua mungu, na hata maneno ya kesho, tumewachia mungu, na tumewachia viongozi wetu wa huko mahakamani, wa amue, na Kenya iweze kwenda mbele. Um, mimi nataka pia ni, wao, ni ombe kwa heshima kubwa, muombe rais wetu, mwishimewa uhuru kenyata, ate katika nafasi hii ya transition, kwa sababu ndi atasimamia mambo haya ya transition, mungu amsaidie, ampatie hekima, Ndiyo tuweze kuwa na transition ambaye haina matatizo, transition ambaye itakuwa ya amani. Ndiyo Kenya iweze kwenda mbele vile sisi wote tunavyo penda. Na hata wakati anaenda kuchukua nafasi yake ya kupumzika, pia mungu aweze kumsaidia ili aweze kuishi maisha mazuri. Kwa sababu tuko na desturi kama wa Kenya ya kwamba kila rais ambaye anastafu, anastaafu kwa heshima na anastaafu akipatiwa heshima na wa Kenya na hivyo ndivyo itakavyokuwa na rais wetu Uhuru Kenyatta wakati ataenda kustaafu atakuwa na heshima atakuwa na eh, mahali pake kama kiongozi ambaye alitusaidia katika taifa letu la Kenya kama rais na ataungana na wale wengine waliomtangulia katika kuwa na mahali pa heshima as the people of Kenya want, that we respect our elders and we respect all our retiring presidents and make sure that they have the dignity, they have the respect that they deserve as national leaders and as people who have helped guide our country to where we are. Asanteni sana na nawatakia baraka ya mungu. Asanteni, God bless you.